change in his lineup because of Billy Gilbert's thigh strain. Kevin Ball coming in at number six. But he makes one other change of his own volition, preferring Terry Connor to Paul Mariner. Nottingham Forest can be forgiven for feeling this is a fixture they could well do without, but not presumably by their manager. He though makes two changes from the team which beat Liverpool because of minor injuries. Darren Wassell comes in in place of Des Walker and Lee Glover in place of Brian Rice. Howard Taylor, our referee this afternoon. Looks can be a little deceiving along with the bright sunshine. There's a chilly, blustery wind at Fratton Park. Portsmouth attacking the goal to our left. And an early touch for Steve Sutton. And that's the view of the spectators just to his right behind that goal. Noel Blake losing out to Wilkinson. Returning to his old hunting ground. Had three years here. And that was beautifully returned back to the pitch by the commentator. Didn't quite control it as well as he might have, though. Webb. Runs to Wilson. Never really had it under control. Bouncing away from him as he strove to get his foot round it, and I'm afraid he failed. Lover. Nice inside out. And Knight is in trouble and is rescued by Blake. Goalkeeper in need of attention. And he came for the ball by two Forest players, didn't quite get there, and Blake putting it over the top of the crossbar. Knight soldiering on. Bossel. Yes, he's got it right. No, he hasn't. Paul Pearson managed to get back onside. in the line with the far post as we look near post from the kicker's viewpoint they tend to drop the ball in there on the near post and, uh, Knight brave enough to come and get it between the feet and the ball by now must know how warm it is in the sun Intended. And 
seemed to bang it across the goal and suddenly it was on the head of Hilaire. And I think the suddenly maybe resulted in not the best of headers from the little man. Wilson Square, good challenge by Stanford. Horn, it's a bit tight, off, and free kick against Webb. And here's a chance for Connor, the ball very nearly squeezing under Sutton but not quite, not through the middle, don't think he struck it as thin as he might have, but certainly it was the body of Sutton that saved around the waistline. Foster, Connor, hit on the wind really. But he's uh, justified his presence in the team in this first period. Wilson invites Steve Sutton to try again. Our Brightclough team have survived the wind. It was very close on one occasion with the ball almost squirming under Steve Sutton. But at half-time, it's Portsmouth nil, Nottingham Forest nil. Well, life is all new for the Easter Bunny, but for Portsmouth supporters, they must be used to biting their nails at this time of the year. They struggle to be promoted, missing out two years running before finally making it, and now having the battle the other way. It certainly would be a pity after taking 28 years to get back to the First Division if they were to immediately slide again. Will they survive the wind in the second half? <laughs> Sanford. Whitehead, first time we've seen him come forward from the back. Used to be a winger. appreciate having been given the ball on the deck. Dylan. It's not a bad return if it doesn't go too long. Acrobatics of Pierce. Quint. Dylan across to take the corner. Connor's shot, and it hit Quinn. A corner that you couldn't possibly have predicted, but it fell truly at the feet of Connor, who struck it well, and Sutton didn't need to make the save. Quinn made it for him. Chettle has taken a position on the near post, comes away from it. Wilkinson, Crosby. And Sanford 
turns to the referee as Brian Clough reacts. And I think the referee read that one right. Clough's very quick to his feet. But I think uh, that was not of ill intent by Sanford. Crosby again to tease him. Oh, well struck. Wilson the scorer. Inevitably, there were deflections on the way. And on the balance of the play, it was likely the goal was going to come from a move that began on the right. But from the ricochets, it was certainly very well struck by Terry Wilson to put Forrest in front. Seventh minute, and all Portsmouth's good work at Tottenham in danger of counting for nothing if they can't win at home. Well, Alan Ball made it very clear in the club program today that this was a match from which his team needed to get all three points. Dylan, that's another very good ball to Connor. Still Connor. Great save. Ball turned away off the bounce in front of him by Steve Sutton. Good play by Connor. The weight was perfect. Connor turned on it well. And Sutton turning the bouncing ball away. Terry Wilson on a run of three consecutive victories. 